Hello, this is Mike at Games from Scratch, and welcome to another episode in the ongoing Game Dev Toolbox. A quick look at tools of importance for game developers, uh, be it artists, uh, musicians, programmers, uh, from the biggest tools used in AAA studios to the smallest utilities used by a single developer, we're covering them all. So if it's of use to somebody in the process of game development, it will probably be covered in this series at some point. Uh, and today what we're looking at is Paint.net. Uh, it is a graphics manipulation package for Windows only, sadly, although you can run it through Wine or Parallels if you're on a Mac or Linux. Um, but it is a Windows only application and it is completely free. So that part is definitely nice. Uh, it is going to be a fairly short video because what Paint.net is is extremely well defined. First off, as I mentioned, it's free, which is always good. Uh, but what they basically did is they took Microsoft Paint, a very popular, quick, hack together kind of image manipulation program, which if we're honest with each other, sucks. And it's always kind of sucked, but it does what it does simply enough that people just stuck with it. Well, Paint.net basically took that idea and added more and more and more and more to it. So uh, it's Paint plus, 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 plus. So it's um, got the simplicity and focus of Microsoft Paint, but it's got the tools you actually need to work in the real world. Things like um, layers, uh, like clone brushes, like uh, magic wand selection tools or feathering of selections, um, text manipulation that's non-trivial, etc. But for the most part, it is a simple and focused paint program. It supports just about every image format you're going to want to work with. And where I don't use this and I don't recommend it, it is not really a media creation tool. So if you're looking to do and draw um, pixel art or uh, similar, this is probably not where you want to be. You probably want to look at something like Krita or possibly GIMP or a vector graphics program like um, Inkscape or if you've got the budget, Photoshop or Illustrator or Flash, etc. This is probably not where you want to be creating art. This is more about uh, manipulating. And one good example of what I use it for, I just did another video, I'll link it in the comment below, about um, I used a plugin, which coincidentally Paint.net has plugin support, which is nice, and there are some 600 plus plugins available uh, over the past eight or nine years, so there's a broad range of things being supported. Um, but I just used a plugin for it to create seamless textures. Um, so that kind of stuff, it's very fast, very quick, bring it in. I also use this guy on a day-to-day -day basis of uh, you know, quick markups, quick edits, uh, quick resizes. If I need to turn something into a power of two texture, I'll load it up into paint.net, resize it, and save it out. Because it is so small and so focused, unlike, say, Photoshop or Illustrator or even GIMP, you don't need a PhD to run this thing. It does not take you 100 years to learn it. You can basically pick it up, play with it for 20 minutes, and know what you're doing. And when you need to just kind of do simple things like add text to an image, resize an image, crop an image, or uh, even erase something out by you know cloning over it or whatever. If you're doing image manipulation, straightforward is a very nice thing. And paint.net will do a surprisingly strong amount of things. Now there's not really much more to it. This is what it is. This is what it does. Um, you'll see there is in here, as I said earlier, there is layer support. There's pretty good color support here. Um, You've got basic image manipulation things. You can resize your canvas. You can resize your image. Uh, then you've got, as I said earlier, layer support. Um, you've got some filters between layers, so you do have some advanced level manipulation there. You have color um, adjustments and auto leveling, etc. And then finally, you have effects, basically filters like you would see in Photoshop. These are things like uh, blurs, um, Gaussian blurs, etc. And a lot of times, this is where your plugins end up being uh, from. So for example, here's the plugin I install is Blend Seams. You can see from the little plugin icon here, it just installs as a, a um, they call them effects. So here, if I looked at clouds, for example, you can see immediately the result. So even if you're just using it to generate clouds, if you needed to create a cloud texture, uh, boom, you're pretty much done. You could come in here, mask off the bits you don't want, delete it out, save it to a file, and you're complete. So for the smaller guy or the quick edits, even if you're a big guy, this is a nice, quick, streamlined program that is easy to learn, easy to pick up, easy to use. And finally, it has, oops, let's close that down. It has uh, very good support. So let me just go ahead and do save as, and we can show you here. Oops, wrong folder, and right here. So you've got um, bitmap, GIF, JPEGs, uh, PNG, TIFF, Targa, and DDS file support for export. So you got most of the image formats you're gonna look at there. Obviously you're missing some of the 
the things like uh, PSD, so Photoshop uh, file support isn't there off the hop, etc. I think some of this can actually be added via plugins. I'm not 100% on that one. Uh, but it's pretty streamlined. It imports what you need it to. It exports what you need it to. Uh, it does what you need it to. If you, it's not creation that you're working. If it's just changes, modifies, tweaks, or small stuff, uh, great program for you. Definitely add this one to your arsenal if you're on Windows machine. Uh, you literally have nothing to lose. It is a completely free program, and it's minuscule in size. Uh, so definitely decide to check this one out. Uh, it's available on what is perhaps the ugliest web page on the internet at www.gitpaint.net. Um, again, I will link um, the video I just did about um, creating seamless textures so you can actually see paint.net in action and you can see just how fast it can do uh, certain things for you. So if you don't already have this guy installed, install it. It is a great little utility to have around for image manipulation. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See y'all later. Bye.